Hello dear students, in this video we are going to cover the prolog operators as we have already covered how to write the hello world program in our previous video. If you haven't covered that video yet, please cover it from the description box and then proceed to this video. So here we are understanding the different prolog operators. So first of all we need to understand that what is the operator exactly. So operator is something like plus, minus or greater than, less than. These are the operators that are applied in between the operands. Operands are actually the values. Operands are the values like 5, 7, 9, any value that is operand and operators are applied with the operands and then the result will change. So first of all, uh, we will uh, cover in this that what are the major categories that are possible. So uh, what is operator uh, in this? It is the arithmetic logic comparison or anything operation that we are performing on a, some particular operands. Okay. So here I am. Uh, it is mentioned that what are the major categories? The major categories are the arithmetic operators, comparison operators, and trigonometric operator. These three are the major categories in the prolog. Now, here uh, one more thing is that these major categories are subdivided into subcategories. So these are the major categories and these are further divided into subcategories. So let's check them one by one. So first of all, we are seeing arithmetic operators. So arithmetic operators that are included in the prolog are the addition. That means adding the two values, subtraction, multiplication, multiplying, division, par. Par means, just say, uh, for example, 2 to the power 3. These type of operations can be performed with this outright operator, 2 star. Then integer division, integer division will return the integer value after division. For example, if I divide uh, 2 by 7, then obviously I will get output as 3.5. But in integer division, I will get output only as 3. So this is integer division. Only the integer values are remained and the float values or point value decimal values are simply discarded. Then modulus operator is also included in prolog. Square root operator for square root we are using the SQRT function and then maximum for that we are using max. These all are the arithmetic operators. Now next check, uh, next we check the Second major category that is a comparison operators. So these operators are included in the comparison. So the first one is greater than for comparing then less than. It is greater than or equal to. This is the symbol used to denote it. Then less than or equal to. Equal to. If I want to check that 2 is equal to 2. Then I am using this type of operator in plural. This is for not equal with a backslash. And uh, Third major category is the trigonometric operators. So it, in this we have included sine and cos. These all are the major categories and subcategories. So uh, here in this video I only named them. In the next upcoming videos we will discuss each of one of them by a program in GNU Prolog console. So till now thank you and keep practicing.